We are about to explore chorus work, ensemble work that um, I've been developing on other production uh, at the National, like The Kitchen, Emily and Tecti, and Antigone. I call this the leading exercise. I particularly like this one because it allows us to really lay down all our skills and find a base on which we can all work and just, just bring the, the company together on the same level, moving as one. So, um, the person in the front, if you can't see anyone to your right or your left, you just assume that you're the leader. I'm just going to ask you to do a very simple move that I would like everyone else to very accurately duplicate. So you can take it quite slowly and off you go. And do that a couple of times. Each time you, you do the move, I would like you to improve, improve it in terms of like its accuracy. Very good. Simple is the key, because then you know that everyone behind can follow you. But the challenge that you still need to enjoy yourself. Yeah? Now, how do we change leaders? That let's imagine that you, you're tired, you're fed up, you don't want to carry on with this move. You just have to either turn to your right until you see someone and then you pass on to the, to the next person or you go to the other side and off you go, yeah? So as soon as you see someone, you just assume you're not the leader anymore, yeah? So just shift and everybody's going to duplicate what she does and stop there. Victoria gave us a very simple move. And Victoria, when you're tired, or when you want to change the move, you can. And if everybody does exactly what Victoria is doing, if we change. Very good, Jodie. You've got nobody in the front of you. If you can't see Jodie, for example, you can either shift to your right or left, or you can just assume that Jordan is going to do a very good job, so you just have to follow him. I think you can challenge each other a bit more in terms of like we've been very careful with like how much people can follow. Sometimes they can follow also more than you think they can. And really have fun. You can really do whatever you want. When you do a move, I'd like you to really like embody a character. Think about a story. Feel free to add any noises or uh, use your voice and breathing. Noises can really help embody the, the movement and make it more alive. And find a way to bring it to an end.